tomorrow marks 144 years since the state legislature passed a bill allowing women to serve as lawyers in Wisconsin. In the nearly century and a half since Lavinia Goodell broke that glass ceiling, women, in particular women of color, still face barriers entering the legal profession. This morning, Amanda Porterfield highlights new efforts to break down those barriers for young women in Milwaukee. U.S. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg once said, fight for the things you care about, but do it in a way that will lead others to join you. I, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, do solemnly swear. And because the notorious RBG followed her own words, she's inspired generations of people, especially young women. Kayla Jimenez is one of them. You know, I, I actually have a book right here about her. <laughs> Like a little book full of her quotes. She is one of my inspirations. Jimenez is a Milwaukee high school senior who has no doubt what she wants to do with her life. My dream is to end up being a civil rights attorney, maybe one day a partner of a firm. I think it's wonderful that I have the opportunity in life to be able to go out there and change the lives of other people forever. Kayla has been focused on this dream since she was 13 and now, like most 18 year olds, she's applying for scholarships. I think just being an attorney would be really cool. She's one of many who've applied for the Milwaukee Public Schools Foundation Ruth Bader Ginsburg Scholarship. I have just incredible respect for Ruth Bader Ginsburg and what she has accomplished. Inspired by the late justice, longtime and respected Milwaukee attorney Fred Tabak came up with the idea for the scholarship to help young women, just like Kayla, follow their dreams. To level the playing field for uh, minority women, uh, who come from difficult backgrounds and help them get through college and help them get through law school and then they can uh, give back to the community and uh, you know everybody can benefit. His daughter is an attorney in Atlanta. She met Ginsburg at a function years ago. Tabak is also a graduate of Riverside High School and an MPS Foundation board member. While all of those things inspired him to create this scholarship, it was really what he hasn't seen in Wisconsin courtrooms for the last 50 years that made the biggest impression. When you go into a courtroom, how many uh, women of color do you see um, <clears throat> as lawyers? Not many. I don't think I've ever had a defense attorney that was a, a woman of color. Women of color are one of the most marginalized groups in the legal profession as a whole. The American Bar Association says as of 2018, they only make up 14% of firm associates and only 3% of law partners. If you can have a jury that's diverse, you should have some lawyers that are diverse. There's something that needs to be done. Each year, the scholarship would give two female MPS students of color $2,000 for every year of undergraduate studies, then another $10,000 for each year of law school. The students must have good grades and be recommended by their teachers or supervisors. Executive Director Wendell Willis says the MPS Foundation is challenging the legal profession in Milwaukee to do better. Representation is very important. And to be able to be in a position for us as the foundation to do that and pay it forward for our students and females of color is a huge challenge and a huge privilege that we have to provide for them. This is 2021. Get with it. Tabak's firm donated $25,000 to the scholarship to get it started. Because I care, you know. Um, I see what's happening in the city and, you know, some kids lose their sense of direction, but, you know, we got to pull them back in. I think this scholarship, this opportunity is amazing. It's, you know, and I think RBG would be so, so proud. Dozens of MPS students have already applied. The foundation's goal is to raise $500,000 in the first year. And Willis says they can't do it alone. Well, the goal for us would be to have tens of dozens of students that come out and say, we would love to be in the law profession in some capacity. To have not only that, the students say that, but to have on the other end, you know, people in the law profession or others saying we would love to mentor these students or provide a wraparound type of program and they can have a fulfilling career. A fulfilling career for Kayla Jimenez means to be a crusader for those dealing with social inequality and injustice no matter where they're from. While at the same time, her mere presence in the legal field will continue the fight for change that the great dissenter started. I believe that my generation is going to bring so many women of color, men of color, people of color in general, 
too long. And I, I'm excited to see that 